Now moving on to our third example, it says that in the diagram below you have triangle AGH which is drawn. F and C are points on AG and AH respectively such that AF is equal to 20 units, FG is equal to 15 units, CH is equal to 21 units, and D is a point on FC such that ABCD is a rectangle. Okay, so we have ABCD over here, which is a rectangle, right, with AB also parallel to GH. The diagonals of ABCD intersect at M, right. First question says we need to explain why is FC parallel to GH, right? Well, basically, if you look, FC has a portion of it, DC, which is part of this rectangle. And obviously, the properties of the rectangle still apply. Remember that with a rectangle, the opposite um, pairs are parallel to each other. This side would be parallel to that. They are also equal in length. Right, so the opposite sides of a rectangle are also equal in length, and the interior angles of a rectangle are 90 degrees. Right, so all the interior angles of a rectangle are 90 degrees. Right, so now if AB is parallel to GH and AB is parallel to DC, then therefore FC is parallel to GH. So question 8.2.1, we're simply going to state that if C is parallel to AB, and this is the properties of a rectangle, this is opposite sides of a rectangle, Right, a parallel. Right, and then AB is parallel to GH. This was given. Therefore, FC has to be parallel to GH because they're both parallel to AB, right? Second question, 8.2.2, says calculate with reasons the length of DM, right? So DM is this length over here, but what we have now is our theorem again that we're busy investigating. FC is parallel to GH, so we have a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle, meaning that these two sides have been divided in proportion. So AF to FG is in the same proportion as AC to CH. Right. So let's start off with that. So let's start off with the fact that AC to CH is in the same proportion as AF to FG. And this is because we have a line which is now parallel to one side of the triangle. Okay? So AC is going to be forming part of this triangle over here. A, B, C, right? And DM is a diagonal line of the rectangle. Okay, but we'll get to that. Right, let's first calculate AC. Okay. So AC over 21 is equals to 20 over 15. If you plug this into the calculator, just multiply both sides by 21. We get that AC is equal to 28 
units. Okay, so now you have this length AC, right? But AC and DB are the same thing. They're both the diagonals of this rectangle, right? Remember, what do the diagonals of a rectangle do? They bisect each other. So all of these lengths are exactly the same. Okay, so they all equal to each other. Right? So we can say that AM is equals to MC, which is equals to DM, which is equals to MB. Right? Reason for this, diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other. Right? Now, since AC is equals to AM plus MC, right? Therefore, AC is the same as saying 2 times AM. Okay? Because AM is equals to MC, right? But, again, from the diagonals, you have that AM is equals to DM, right? Therefore, AC is equals to twice DM, meaning that DM is equals to one half of AC, which is 28. This gives us 14 units for DA. Right. So that is a very nice integration of the properties of a different shape together with our theorem that we are using in grade 12.